What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Python programming video. We're looking at the Python challenge, and we're on challenge number 13 right now. So, looking at us, staring us in the face, is this uh, <laughs> inverted picture of a phone, I think. Um, there's no scroll bar, so there's nothing more to this page. Can't move at all. Uh, the only hint that we have here is phone that evil. Um, <laughs> I'm going to view the page source, do some investigation. The title of the page is Call Him. Um, I don't really know if there are any Python modules that can make phone calls, but... I mean, we're gonna end up doing some research, so here we go. Uh, see, the image we've got here is disprop.jpg. We are on the disproportional.html uh, flag for this challenge number 13. It's a map, so there is an area on the image we can click, and it'll take us to this phonebook.php page. Ooh! We haven't been to a PHP page before on the Python challenge, so that might be kind of cool. Let's let's hop on over to that. Uh, da, 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 da. Try to find where it is in the. All right, uh, found where it is on the picture. It's the circle of the five button. You can see down on the bottom left. It's going to link me to phonebook.php. Now, when I click on this, ah, okay, it takes me to an XML file. It says this XML file does not appear to have any style information associated with it. And here's the document tree. Okay. The response, fault, fault code 105, fault string. Is it? There's no way it's like this easy. Would like 105 be, be any answers or give us any hints? 105.php, 105.html. I didn't think so. There's like no way it'd be that easy. Fault code or fault string. Fault code. Nope. Fault string. Oh, and it could be HTML or any of these. Yeah, it's normally an HTML. An HTML page. So let's try let's try fault code again. Oh, 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 what the heck? No. Okay. <laughs> Got my hopes up for nothing. There is nothing there. And fault string HTML. Nothing there either. Okay. Well, we got an HTML document, but I don't know what to do with it. There's nothing special in the image, I don't think. Here, I'll save it on the desktop. As usual. Here it is. Open it in paint. There's not going to be anything here. I know there's not. I just tried to zoom in with my, with my touch screen, and I just drawed pictures. Yeah, there's not going to be anything here whatsoever. Control I, I think, to like... Can I even... Invert selection. Nope, that's not invert how I... Invert color, here we go. Um... <laughs> yeah, there's nothing here. No hints, nothing that we can use. There it is. I'm going to look back at the source, see if there's anything there. Our image. Phonebook.php. The hint is phone that evil. Wait, whoa. Okay, there's a phone that remote evil. Um. Uh. <laughs> remote is not an HTML tag, is it? <laughs> I don't think it is. HTML tag. No, it's not. It's not a Python remote. Okay, that's not Python remote module. Module. No. Oh, what is this? Oh, hey, this is XML RPC lib. I just made a tutorial on this. Remote procedure call. Call him. Oh, remote. Oh, remote. And uh, the XML page. Oh, dude, this has to be it. This has to be it. If I view the page source, remote, phonebook.php. Oh, PHP. Phonebook.php must be a server, an XML RPC server. Alright, yeah, this is totally it. 
All right, I'm going to fire up my text editor, Sublime Text. I got a 13.py um, file.save here. I'm going to import XML RPC lib. Um, server name can equal the phonebook.php. And what we'll do is we'll create a client. That'll equal XML RPC dot lib, XML lib dot uh, server proxy. You guys know uh, that's to create the server. And it takes the URL or the URI. You guys, if you don't know any of this, um, I just did a tutorial series on XML RPC lib, so that's super handy. Um, but yeah, server proxy is the function to create the server for us. And uh, I do have tutorial series on this, and you can look through it and learn a little bit more about it. I just pretty much go through the documentation, but I mean that's the best way to learn things: go through the documentation, read. So okay, um, I would hope that it has the introspection functions working. I'll do print client.system list methods. If I run this, ooh, there's a phone method. There's a phone method. That's awesome. That's probably what we need to do, because if it's on the server, um, method help. Is it list method help? Method help. And the string is phone. Returns the phone of a person. What does that mean? <laughs> phone that evil. That's our hint, right? We must have to client dot I'm gonna do I'm just gonna try it. Client phone. Uh, probably a string, right? Because maybe we just have to phone that evil. That evil. He is not the evil. What? <laughs> he is not... Who is he is not the evil? What does that mean? Evil. He is not the evil. Uh, what the? F what do I do? Okay. He is not the evil. I don't know what that means. Who is not the evil? What is not the evil? <laughs> phone that evil is the only hint that we get, but when you phone that evil and evil, both of them return me, he is not the evil. Who is he? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is he me? 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 Am I the evil? <laughs> Are you the evil? What the heck? If I send it anything, oh, if I don't even send it anything, it doesn't do anything. Phone. Can I pass it without any string? No. Okay. It needs. It needs a parameter. Can I give it like? An integer? One? No, nope, it needs a string. What the f- He is not the evil. What is- Does it mean like referring to another previous challenge or something? Last ones I remember we were looking at images. Imi oh, oh crap! Oh! Okay, yeah, one of the other images, the one of the ones that, that wasn't an image, the one that was uh, evil4, here, I still have it on my desktop, evil4.jpg, that wasn't an image, and I remember I was looking at it after, and it it wasn't, uh, oh, crap, 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 what was it? I'm going to open it up on my desktop, evil4.jpg. It wasn't an, it was an image, it was a text file, it said, Bert is evil, go back. What is, what if we call... The, the help function said to call a person, right? Yeah, it was like print... Hang on, let me... Print client system method help. Yeah. <laughs> this is freaky. Phone, phone. Returns the phone of a person. A person, it must be Bert. Maybe I have to... Do I have to call Bert? Returns the phone of a person. Bert. <gasps> oh! Five, 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 Italy. 
Is that it? Is that what I'm supposed to... Is that what I have to pass to the page? 555 five, five, Italy. No. Damn it. That's not it. Is it without the hash? Is it without the, the uh... Without the dash? No. Is it just 555? Five, five, five? Is it just all Italy? Uh... Small letters. What does that mean? Like, lowercase Bert? He is not the evil. Well, that's the, that's what we just saw. And capital B, capital B Bert. Dude, it's case sensitive? That sucks. Capital B Bert. Capital everything Bert. <laughs> Dude, it has to be like exactly Bert. Wow. Okay, 555 Italy. Small letters. That's all that's all the pages. What if it means lowercase Italy? Oh, that's it. Yep, yep, that's it. Whoo! Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Put us on challenge number 14, finished up 13. Bam! That's awesome. All right. <laughs> that was kind of cool. That was a fun one. And it's using XML RPC Lib, which is like, that's awesome. Because, I mean, I was just looking at that. It's super cool. All right. Well, there we go, guys. Sweet. <laughs> Challenge number 14, 13 is in the bag. Check mark. I don't, I don't even know. Check mark. I mean, it was just checking it off the checklist, you know? <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy all the stuff that I do. If you are liking the series, if you like this video, maybe you know, like the video. Maybe leave me constructive criticism in the comments. Maybe subscribe. Do whatever you people do. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again.